Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead as we watch a cold front which is uh, making its way through the Arklotex here today. Really hasn't produced much as far as rain today and uh, behind it high pressure building into the Midwest will uh, usher in a quiet weather pattern here for a few days as we'll be between disturbances. Another system will bring us a possibility for a shower, maybe a few rumbles of thunder Saturday, but even that disturbance doesn't look like it's going to produce much as far as rainfall at this point. Uh, let's give you a look at, uh, first of all, a look at uh, temperatures. And you can see tonight uh, we are looking at lows that will be a bit cooler further to the northwest uh, where the front uh, will be moving through sooner. 41 degrees tonight, night about 52 in Texarkana, 57 in Shreveport, 61 degrees in Natchitoches. So cooler tonight, most locations once again above normal still. Tomorrow expect lots of sunshine and uh, temperatures above normal but not as warm as today as we'll see low 70s for the most part north, mid to upper 70s across the south. Warm spot tomorrow in Natchitoches at 78 degrees, 75 in Shreveport as well as in Minden, 71 degrees for the daytime high tomorrow in Texarkana. Quick look at uh, Robin Soria to Futurecast, take you through the next several days and again What's left of the clouds and the rain will end. We could see a few lingering clouds overnight tonight, but for the most part, the clouds will continue to decrease, giving way to lots of sunshine for your Wednesday. Expect to see a mostly clear sky Wednesday night. And then moving through Thursday, we will once again see quite a bit of sunshine and a very pleasant day with highs staying in the 70s. Lows, for the most part, uh, should be in the 40s and 50s across the area Thursday morning. Now, longer range, we'll be watching another disturbance. We might see the beginnings of any rain threat with Futurecast, which will go into Saturday. You can see Thursday night, we'll see a clear to partly cloudy sky. Friday, mix of clouds and sunshine. Then going through Friday night, you can see the clouds increasing. Notice the rain beginning to move into the area Saturday morning. Uh, this is the second uh, disturbance, which may produce a few rumbles of thunder, especially over the northern sections of the area uh, during the day Saturday. We'll see this push on through, and once this system clears, we will kind of settle into a quiet, pleasant weather pattern with uh, above normal temperatures for the most part for much of next week, although a bit of a cool down towards the uh, middle and end of next week. So all that being said, let's uh, first of all, before I do that, uh, show you the latest on ADA. The storm in the Gulf of Mexico, which is still a tropical storm, is expected to turn back to the north. Latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center does show a possible landfall over the panhandle of Florida Sunday morning as a depression as the system will be encountering uh, more unfavorable conditions aloft uh, and also with water temperatures in the northern Gulf. Uh, some models do still take it possibly further to the west, but really not going to oppose an impact on the weather here in our area. So your seven day forecast looks like this as we go through the uh, next seven days. We will see again quiet weather basically for tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday as we'll see uh, temperatures in the mid 70s for highs, lows, upper 50s, upper 40s, lower 50s. Uh, Saturday chance for that shower or thunderstorm and then Sunday with a warm start we will warm back up into the low 80s. That's only temporary as the wind shifts around to the north. Some cooler air will work in with highs falling close to 70. Lows will fall into the low to middle 40s uh, heading into the middle part of next week. And then we'll start to warm up again towards the end of next week. But notice, starting Sunday, lots of sunshine. That likely will continue through all of next week, the way it checks out right now. So it looks like, for the most part, smooth sailing for the next week or two with our next chance of rain holding off until Saturday.